I took over this robotics in 2009. I started off with just a mini storeroom. I did a study of the robotics landscape in Singapore and I discovered that Singapore is not so well known for robotics. I set myself my own vision to bring the robotics in Singapore to the world stage. One of the advantages for me is I came from the R&D background. I'm able to mentor and scaffold the kids when it comes to high-level, complicated engineering issues. I can break a complicated issue into a smaller, bite-sized problem for them. Hi, I'm Nicole, the president of Hysing Cafe Robotics. We are trained in three aspects. It's our technical competency, it's our ability to control the robot, and our mental training in the ability to stay calm and focused during matches. When it comes to knowledge-wise uh, scaffolding, I will kickstart the introduction of how this thing works, the concept. And after ensuring that my students know the concept, I expect them to show me, like to build prototyping, to show me that they knew about what am I talking about. And my style is I will teach the senior, only the senior. And I want the senior to pass down to the junior. And that is how the leadership will be sustainable. I create stressful situations. I believe that if they are able to attain this high level of mental toughness, they are able to exhibit a consistent and robust performance during the finals, whereby they got to present in thousands of audience. The VEX Robotics Championship, which is the greatest robotics event in the world. All the champions from different parts of the world were gathered in the US to compete for the World Championship. In 2012, we won the first World Champion. People think that we won it because of luck. From Singapore, it's Adam! Away they go into autonomous mode. Right when we won it again in 2013, 2015 and 2017. DRC Middle School Champion from Singapore. We show the world what Singaporean kids are capable of, what they can achieve. Everywhere, less than a minute to go. The Red Alliance, the Spirit Division, winning the Middle School World Championship. Mr. Tio, I think he's more than a teacher to me. Yes. For me personally, he's more of a fatherly figure. He took care of me when I was in secondary school, uh, even not in robotics club. So when I had trouble uh, with my studies, well, I could go to him and he would help me out as well. It's also partly because of him that I decided to take up this career path in engineering. Before joining robotics, I was more of a laid-back person, attending CCA just for the sake of it, being under Mr. Tio's guidance. I become more driven. I set my goals and tend to try to achieve it. Singapore, our kids, they are street smart. They are very smart. But when it comes to fighting spirit, come to perseverance, we need to instill this in them. And after going through all this tough training, they are more confident. They are more tough mentally. They won't be afraid to take up challenges. And I hope that when they graduate from here, although they step down from robotics, but this value that they learn in them will carry with them wherever they are.